What? some dope Nintendo Switch news items for this video. Let's get right to it. The first one is a banger, bro. Wow, things have flip-flopped. What do I mean? After the Metroid Prime series, a lot of the developers went off to work on Halo, Halo, do you see my Halo, Halo. They went off to work for Microsoft to develop some of the Halo games. That's why, if you notice some of the art styles of Halo, the Halo series, very reminiscent of the OG Metroid Prime games. But, Retro Studios like, come on home developers, come on back. Metroid Prime 4 has just, the developers for Metroid Prime 4, the studio, Retro Studios for Metroid Prime 4, they have hired Halo veteran, a, a Halo veteran as a lead character artist, specifically <coughs> Kyle Hefley, a Halo series veteran. He's worked for 343 Industries for nine years, is the new studio lead character artist for Retro Studios. Let's go, boy. Bro, that lets me know. They're taking their time with this game. Nintendo isn't releasing any junk. The Metroid Prime development process has been a saga and a drama all within itself. The game was announced. This is all we got. Quiet for two years. And then Nintendo announces they're starting from scratch. They originally was having... An Eastern developer work on the game. I heard from legit sources behind the scenes that I can't share that they this they were working on the game and the, um, Nintendo was not pleased with what they were seeing and how the development process was going. So they brought it back to the West where it belongs, back to Retro Studios, the originators of the Prime series, and now they're hiring. Making sure the game is going to be... Bro, this is what I, I'm hoping. I hope they have a, a traditional Metroid campaign to satisfy the fans. But this could be Nintendo's big online multiplayer first-person shooter, bro. Right now, <coughs> I'm loving Overwatch on the Switch. Overwatch is straight fire. Metroid has different bounty hunters, bro, with different abilities. Y'all remember Metroid Prime 3? With all the different bounty hunters, all, they had different abilities and special. Bro, that could be Nintendo's Overwatch. Just imagine an Overwatch type game exclusive to Nintendo, bro. That would be crazy. Right now, Splatoon 2 is dead. I don't care what anybody says. <laughs> the game has grown, draw, gone long in the tooth. And we haven't gotten anything on the Splatoon 3 or something. But I think this could be Nintendo's big hitter as far as online multiplayer shooters is concerned. Bro, they better have some kind of online multiplayer. With, I, am I going to be hot and upset if they don't? No, I'm not. Because Metroid Prime, uh, the single player experience is lit. But. They've had online before. Dudes are sleeping on Metro Prime Federation Force. That game was lit. A lot of dudes couldn't get over the chibi art style <coughs> and the fact that Samus wasn't in the game. But the game was good. Once you played it and you had three other good dudes to play with, tons of fun. I remember beating that um, with um, with a couple of the, the subscribers on my YouTube channel. Bro, release Metroid Prime. 
with some kind of online multiplayer, I think Nintendo would have a winner on their hand. So, Nintendo has hired a Halo veteran to help with the art design for the game. This lets me know the game is going to look good. What do I think? When do I think this game is going to launch? 2021. What if this is a 2020 release um, and it launches when the new consoles come out? But no. I think it's going to be 2021 and I don't think it's coming on the current Switch as we know it. It probably will, but it'll be scaled down. I think this is going to showcase this is going to be a game that showcases Nintendo's um, next gen system or next gen switch the switch pro switch 2, whatever it is i think it'll still be um compatible with the current switch it'll be scaled down but mark my words watch nintendo do it and so metroid prime i'm pleased with what i'm hearing pleased with what i'm hearing it also lets us know the game is probably a long ways out since they're just now hiring this dude next news item bruh nba live has been canceled <laughs> oh ea once again they have canceled nba live this is ea's official statement we are not launching a new nba live hd product this season instead we're expanding our vision leaning hard into the new leading edge platforms and taking the time to ensure we deliver again the opportunity for our players what they're pretty much saying is we're done with this generation for basketball games the nba live will be on the playstation 5 xbox scarlet that's what they're getting ready for i don't know bro 2k might still eat their lunch money even though 2k stumbled a lot this um year uh, at launch i think it would have been a prime time for the live series they ain't even showing nintendo any love bro so i don't even care Oh, but I do care about this next news item. Bro, this is where sports have trickled over into video games. The NCAA has approved that college football players can now make a profit. They're allowing athletes now to profit off their name, image, and likeness, which I think long overdue. I'm going to share my story in a second, but first... Bro, we could be getting college football, a video game back. One of the reasons why they stopped making it was because of legalities and the likeness of college football players. But now that's no longer an issue because athletes can now profit off their name, image, and likeness. Bro, I'm a Florida Gator alumni. Perfect time. Y'all saw the Gators. I was at the University of Florida when we won two back-to-back -back football championships, two back-to-back -back um, basketball championships, bro, UF, go Gators, by the way, bro, that's my school, UF was making a killing, millions and millions off of these athletes, and they weren't making a dime, T um, jersey sales, crazy, it was a crazy time to be at UF when we were just winning championships left and right, we were dubbed title town, athletes weren't making a penny, bro, and I knew a couple of them personally, we used to hang out. We used to play Madden. And so, I think it's long overdue. They deserve it, man. A lot of these players, they come from um, poor backgrounds where they may not even make it to the NFL. and Or you, you get injured in college and your career's over. I think this is a good call. Um, and a lot of them used to do stuff under the table, too. I, I knew dudes. And so, they used to get like deals with agents and stuff under the table. Now, they could just be out in the open and do it win-win bro let the dudes make their money but i'm hyped that we might get a football game bro we might get college football back bro that's my game bro <laughs> i used to like college football more than i did madden bro so i can't wait can't wait can't wait and college football was on like the gamecube nintendo platform it was on the wii we had a college football game on the wii bro i still remember my oldest daughter she's a teenager now but she used to be sitting in my lap with my GameCube controller playing that college football by Florida Gator season. Let's go get it. All right, next news item. Pokemon Sword Shield is now available to preload on the European eShops. I checked at the time of this video, I checked the North American eShops and it was not available, bro. 
it was not available on the North, I'm checking it now, on the North American eShops, it wasn't available, and so hopefully, 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 um, by the time you guys are watching this video, um, it is available, I'm searching one more time, and Pokemon, we're doing this live, Sword and Shield, nope, estimated release date, click on Sword, yep, not available. So, in North America, we don't know when it's going to be available to preload. But I, I can imagine since it just became live on the European eShop when I recorded this video, it should be sometime today in U.S. preloaded. And I'm here and we get a, a collector's item, a steel book, um, if you preload the game, which is pretty dope. And the last news item, Luigi's Mansion 3 drops tonight boy at midnight we should get a midnight launch i will be live streaming at midnight on my on this channel my main youtube channel i usually live stream on my twitch i have a gaming youtube channel uh and twitter mixer i stream on those channels as well but tonight for luigi's mansion 3 i am going to be live streaming on this youtube channel at midnight and if any sponsors have the game we can try out the skyscraper multiplayer mode, which we will be play I will be playing that mode with the sponsors in the coming days. If you want to know how to join a dope Nintendo Switch gaming community, get into our private gaming Discord, game with me, get on my Switch friend list, game with me every day. Twitch, you can join through Twitch by becoming a Twitch sub, a YouTube member. Or patreon.com backslash obi one plays. The descriptions are in this video. All right, dudes, what do you guys think about everything we talked about in this video? Sound off in the comment section below. I want to know. But before you go, bro, click that subscribe button. Stay up to date. All things Nintendo. We out, boy. Metroid's gonna be fire. Who knows who this dude is? Is it Craid? I think it was Craid. K R A I D. He was tough on that Super Metroid, bro, on that Super Nintendo. Y'all don't know about that.